Hey everybody, it's Linda G and my special guest, Melissa. Hi, Hi Melissa. everybody. <laughs> and I love her background. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you. I like your necklace too. Oh yeah, thank you so much. I do too. It's, it's, it's a sun, the turquoise center. That's gorgeous. Thank so you. thank you guys. We got a lot of questions. Um, one of the first questions from Kimber is, will any of Trump's blanket pardons hold up in a court of law? That is a good question. I haven't directly asked my guides about that. So I'll I'll go first and then maybe okay. also answer. It's mixed here. Some might, but some may not. It's really, it's gonna be specific to actually the criminality of the charge. It's not clear um, so to, to me, to the guides. Some will, some won't. Well, I I feel he if he did blanket it's only for him and his family. Yeah. But I will tell you if it's involving the insurrection it it's a nothing burger it won't hold. Yeah, it, it, it there are some like minor like I don't know maybe destruction of documents or something, you know, like some right. things will just kind of get pushed aside, but for the the most criminal cases the pardons won't hold up. Hold up. That's what it's, I mean. it's all to do with the you know the um law and the severity and there's all kinds of uh, nuances to that um, because i don't think they want to give away there's always this precedent kind of concern we don't want to give away that for a president like in no. the future presidents unless there's you know some kind of curtailing of it uh, that's legal and goes through the courts and everything they, they want to abide by the, the um you know, the convention of that. So I don't think as a rule that becomes nullified. It will be really what it's applied to. Um, so, you know, I guess we could think about specific people. My guides say that it's close friends and also very close associates. Right. There are some right. associates that the- uh, Well, that but the second part of her question is, did he sell blanket pardons for personal gain? Did he oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, yes, ding, 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 ding. Oh my God, okay. yeah. Okay. He's such a grifter um, that, uh, I'll ask the guides though. I mean, I just okay. read my spidey senses, absolutely. Okay. Oh yeah, he did. Okay. He was like um, the godfather, like Marlon Brand. <laughs> the people kind of crawling in and coming out. Like it just money, his concern is always money. Uh, and okay. he, he's like a leaky, boat or a leaky bucket like no matter how much money he makes it leaks out it always okay. leaks out you know um they just had on msnbc they had an attorney that talked to uh who's the one that wanted to be the ag eastman never mind eastman not yeah. it wasn't it but anyway eastman called this attorney one of the attorneys for the white house yeah and and tried to bring up that you know, can Pence change all this? Blah, blah, blah. He said, listen, <laughs> hell no. And don't even go there. Do not even go there. He says, I'm going to give you the best legal advice you've ever had in your life. First, and then first, before that, he said, I only want to hear from two words from you. Peaceful transition. That's the only two words. Now say it back to me. Peaceful transition. And the guy said it back and then he said, Eastman said it back and he says, let me tell you something. I'm going to give you the best advice you've, legal advice you've ever had in your life. Get you a good criminal lawyer because you got some stuff coming up. I loved it. This yeah. guy's testifying to the committee. Yeah. Have you been watching? Yes, the, of, of course. Of, of course. course. Yeah, I, know. I, I can't that. watch it. I have most of my readings are early in the morning, so I have to tape it and watch it later. So listen, um, Justine said, uh, if the Supreme Court revert, revokes Roe versus Wade decision now, will the persuasive intelligent presence of Judge Kitani Brown Jackson make a difference in the future? <laughs> I, I wanna say something and then I go, and then I say to myself, I should ask my guides, my, my reaction personally, and oftentimes it's my guide speaking through me anyway, you know how it goes, the more readings you do and the more you yeah. um, have interaction with your guides and your guides are just right there. 
it's more us getting a progressive and you have said this i have not forgotten that we will have a, a progressive supreme court majority at some point where down the road yeah. is, the federalist society is really in control of the judges so it won't matter what katanji brown says that's not the they uh, are going to treat her like she's nobody trust me yeah be, because they were, the other the other good judges. oh she'll be a wonderful judge and there will be a time when she'll have a great deal of influence but until amy coney barrett and uh Kavanaugh and Gorsuch and Scalise and is it, who, who are the other ones uh um, Thomas Thomas yeah oh god Clarence Thomas uh, you know until they're not the majority anymore they're they were put in there like the three you know Gorsuch Barrett and uh Kavanaugh to do this thing this is the whole thing was about this this was the gift to the evangelicals and that had to be delivered this is something that um Mitch McConnell you know, he he oversaw to the extent that he just pushed Barrett through uh, a hypocrite that he is. And he knew he was being a hypocrite, but really none of that mattered because this was the end game to overturn Roe versus Wade. So yeah. it won't matter until we get a majority on the Supreme Court, which I think we will. But are they going to let the states decide and like Texas, they'll say it's illegal, all these places. There's, so I, what I saw was uh, that Roe versus Wade would be, uh, oh, well, Roe versus Wade, you know, it's been a fine line with that because it's always potentially going to be overthrown, right? There, there, it's precedent, yes, precedent, but we've all walked on eggshells uh, to you know, like make sure it, it wasn't overturned, but there was never a guarantee because it's a ruling, rulings can be overturned. So it has to really uh, be certified. What, what's the word? It has to uh, be legitimized in court. It has to be, uh, 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 there has to be legislation. Right. So that's really the road it needs to go down. Whether or not it's overturned right now, I think they're going to chip away at it. Uh -huh. I asked my my guides this earlier. I kind of got a, a, a sense of there's a lot of argument going on within the uh, uh, conservatives of the Supreme Court because of the leak. The leak was like a disaster, a disaster for them. Because who do you think did the leak? Oh, I've been kind of hesitating to say what I see. I really could be so wrong. What, what That's I, okay. Go for it. It's okay. They guys know. are never wrong. It's 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 me. It would be me <laughs> that met yeah. her for whatever reason. Maybe wishful thinking. But what I saw was, uh, oh, I, I, I worry about saying it, but what I saw was one of the Supreme Court justices on the conservative side, I won't say who, I guess that would be a protection. Uh, one of their staff that, you know, how staff and internships, they're not necessarily working for the Federalist Society, or maybe they are, they're young, they're getting their degrees, maybe they're a friend of the family's child, you know, it's, it's not necessarily so that they are uh, like their uh, employees. Right. So she, I saw a, a woman, she's a conservative, young Christian woman, but when she saw the extreme nature of uh, Scalise's uh, memo, not memo, but uh, uh, opinion, right? Mm -hmm. Regarding Using that 16th century guy who burned yes, women at the stake. She felt, and she wrestled with her conscious, conscience for like several months, but she felt she had to release it, to put, stop it, to interfere with it because of what she saw might happen which she thought would be a disaster. So she, I, I saw the person releasing it as a whistleblower, somebody who um, just, it, it, she couldn't believe her eyes when she, she read that. And if, so you, if, if that had come that, out and had been overturned with his opinion, there would have been hell to pay. Yeah. So, so that's what I saw, but I, I don't know. I know a lot of people think it was intentionally put out, but I can't see the benefit of it. The, the rationale had been that, maybe Kavanaugh was teetering back and forth. And if you put this out, then it was gonna set it in stone, but that's not necessarily. So why does that mean that? I think somebody wanted to warn us, whoever it was, that this was looming 
at us. And it's, it's not just about abortion rights. It's about contraception. It's about uh, any kind of reproductive or it's really privacy rights, really. I know. Um, so that's what I saw, that it wasn't the conservatives. It was somebody within the conservative staff. I but, thought that it's a male. Oh, yeah. So one of the justices, like you said, someone that was working, it's a male justice, but it's his staff. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it was somebody, somebody on their staff. I still see a female, but it, it doesn't matter. I'm not talking about the, I'm, I'm just talking about the intern, the person who did it. Uh, and that it's, there'll be more leaks. If it goes further in direct, in this direction, there's more leaks coming. But it, wow. it's, it's a lot of, uh, I'll get back to the original question, I think is whether or not it would, you said oh, would the state start uh, being able to have their own rights. It's a, it's a big hornet's nest, this thing. It's a, it opens Pandora's box. And in the end, so many lawsuits, so many countersuits. Roe versus Wade isn't the only case that can come up. Other cases can come up that right. look at it a different way. And at some point, Roe versus Wade, or I'm not even going to say that. I want to say that privacy rights becomes a legislative act. And when we have our progressive uh, Senate and House that are more firmly uh, a majority, right. then that's going to happen, along with voting rights. And it, I, I see the um, Equal Rights Amendment being passed also. Oh, good. <laughs> so it, we have, that's why we have to get out and vote. We have to get a majority in the Senate and the House. So we can start making that happen. Because so much can happen. If, and, and it's either or. So if it doesn't happen, then we're in a, a lot of trouble. We can always fight, never give up, no matter what happens, please. But if we can get that uh, blue uh, wave or tsunami going and we do get our super majority, yeah. then we can make things happen, wonderful things. It's, it's, it's all just ready to go. And we just need to allow it to uh, uh, be you know possible to manifest that way because otherwise uh you know even if we had a blue senate and a republican house etc they, they they'd keep on wanting to impeach biden they, they would cause so much trouble because they they look at it like a football game where you keep on uh trying to you know uh, play out the clock that's basically oh steve bannon is already talking as soon as we take over again I'm going to make sure that Biden is in peach, Harris is in peach. For what? Yeah, what did, they, what did they do? Oh, he's such an odious person. I always saw him. Uh, I'm going to ask the guides again. And this is a terrible vision, but I had it a few years ago where one day he would he'd be found, you know, shot to death in his car. And not by suicide either. <laughs> Yeah, they're just some really tragic, and I'm probably wrong, but that's that's how I kind of envisioned Bannon in the end. Yeah, everything is blowing up in his face. Yeah, it's getting pretty bad. Do you feel that Trump is stressed right now with all this stuff? Oh, majorly stressed. He did yeah. a 19 page manifesto. <laughs> did you read it? I didn't see it. I, didn't I, I see saw it. that it had happened. I wouldn't read it if it was there in front of me. I could care less what he has to say. Oh, he's freaking out, and he's uh you know, he's so combative uh, that, and this is his thing. I mean, this is him on trial. People are saying it's him. They're, they're not beating around the bush with this particular. Yeah. And the uh, only committee. people that are testifying are Republicans. Yeah. <laughs> and they're acting like this is a Democratic witch hunt. Yeah. So they got them. They, they've got so much, so much. I really want to see what uh, footage they have uh, of uh, who, uh, led those tours. Oh, that's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe that something was released recently about Loudermilk and that it said he wasn't there. The police said he wasn't there. I thought that he then was there, uh, but they but said he's, he just put, but it's him posting. It could be fake that they yeah. said in our review, the Loudermilk was not part of the tour people. He said, see, the truth comes out. I said, you don't care about the truth. If you cared about the truth, you wouldn't have even supported the January 6th insurrection. But they did. I mean, that all did happen. I don't know, like, how or who, but we're going to, I think we're going to see who. I think they have the footage. 
Well, Lauren Bobert is in there. Marjorie Taylor Greene's in there. And Jordan's in there and a bunch of people. And Kat Gates. Did anybody ask like what's happening with Gates? Like an There's supposed to be a big, huge thing coming up on him. I don't know why they're holding back. Let's look at Gates. Yeah, let's look at him. <laughs> what's happening with Matt Gates? I saw him in trouble. And Trump is really upset with um, Ivanka. Oh yeah, because she basically threw him under the bus. She looked tragic and it, my God, like lots and lots of layers of filters. <laughs> and Jared looked like, I don't know, some really dissipated Roman emperor. I'd like to know who does his eyebrows because he has good job done on his eyebrows. Oh my God. Yeah, he's got legal troubles coming up. He's got legal troubles. You know, I don't know if he's going to win again. He yeah, might have to serve nice. a little jail time. Oh, yeah. Oh, the four of, yeah. Four of swords, right? He's got some legal bad news coming, but it's not till September. He, I, I know he's in trouble. I, I've always seen him having some kind of... Uh, judgment again is it him. that tour is it that tour that happened or well they're still they're still dealing with the um joel greenberg you know the sex oh, they're still dealing with that yeah i thought I they finished they, it up no they did not finish it up. okay that's why time. they're that's why yeah i have to wait till that's over with yeah and there's a lot of people involved in that and i i think at some point it touches desantis that's what I always felt DeSantis was going to have something at him. Yeah, absolutely. Because they're all what, one, you know. You know, did like you one see one that they did group. a survey and he has 70% approval ratings from the Republicans? DeSantis? Even higher than Trump. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Trump could bring him down in a nanosecond. Like, Trump. Well, Roger Stone made a real negative comment about DeSantis on Twitter. What he did he say? He, he said, listen, fat boy. <laughs> we got your number and we know what you we know some things you've been doing Ooh, yeah oh my god so they've got something him. on him fascist he's so horrific but he, i i believe that uh he, if trump see everybody's a transaction everybody's transactional everybody's useful until they're not useful anymore if and i don't believe trump is going to run he's already said several things about his health being an issue for well, him. he's already made two hundred fifty thousand dollars off the poor people who gave him their last dime to help with this fraud that never was real yeah uh and i saw on twitter somebody said really shouldn't there be a class action suit coming any and cooking any time under you know? false pretenses yeah never putting a dime towards this the fraud of the voting thing yeah so um I, i'm just getting some cards too. Oh, they're all reversed. <laughs> is it hot out there? Yeah, it is. It, it is. Hot humid. It's not like it is in a lot of the country. It's been like in the hundreds. A lot of the readings I've done, people have been really um, cooking out there here. It's been pretty beautiful in the 80s and 70s and 80s but then we had this massive thunderstorm last night there Is was it chicago a, no i um michigan michigan okay because i was talking to mel when they had a huge storm yeah we had this and we got the storm after chicago gets it okay i woke up at three in the morning and it was like there was lightning and thunder right over my house it was amazing oh i, and if I hadn't that. been so tired i would have stayed up and watched it it was kaboom <laughs> it's mad uh mad but now you know how it is after a huge thunderstorm it's just gorgeous but it's getting hotter and we're getting into the 90s towards okay. the middle of the week and then i think it's going to cool down a little bit michigan you know southern michigan's pretty good uh on the whole it doesn't have the huge extremes good uh so i'm gonna ask my guides okay. what is this is this about this is about gates gates matt gates so i i got three cars so I got the nine of cups reversed. 
Okay. Ace of Cups reversed and the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Okay. So the guides say this card is to do with crimes revealed, wow. pockets that were, oh, that you can't see. No. Uh, maybe you can see here. Pockets that were filled uh, 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 illegally. Um, like somebody breaking into the store and robbing the store. That's what right. they tell me. I know my um, interpretations of the cards might be a little bit controversial, but really I'm just asking the guides why they chose the cards. I'm not uh, looking at the card and thinking about a conventional interpretation unless it fits. Because I wouldn't necessarily have picked these cards for okay. to, you know, somebody. So Ace of Cups reversed to a sex. It's to do with um, illegal sex. It's to do with sex trafficking. It's to do with sex with a minor. Ooh. That's it, girlfriend. That's it, yeah. Oh, I know what the Nine of Cups is also. That it's the drug use, the overindulgence. Yeah. Yeah, the over it's overindulgence. It's uh it's the use of ecstasy, it's the use of cocaine, it's you know, the parties and the with the girls and the you know when they gave them uh ecstasy to and you have sex with them and all of that that's all that that's what that is right okay and then the uh end result the eight of pentacles this is oh a lot a lot of investigation uh the everything being looked at right that they've done and it, it, it's it, it's something and it's reversed because it's just taking a really long time because they start interviewing this person and that they find this Im implication and that implication they're uh, in, uh, finding that more and more people are involved here and it has lots and lots of tentacles so um that 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 is the the end result so um in the end they've got a lot a lot of proof against gates and uh the trial is going to be, yeah, the guides are agreeing with you, September. Okay. There's so much evidence. I, I just see an overwhelm of evidence against this person that money cannot, also the uh, the Eight of Pentacles, money can't buy, money can't change it. His rich yeah. daddy can't change it. Yeah. So thoughts and prayers. <laughs> so listen, Lisa Foster asked, is there going to be a recession? What about the stock market? Well, the stock market dropped today, but nothing like it done those past. I think it's a readjustment myself. Yes, it because of the uh, interest rates, right? Right. Have gone up. I I see Joe Biden, our president, the one that I love. <laughs> I love this that man so so much. Me too. Uh, and he's kind of the, our captain you know he's steering the ship so he's going to control that interestingly enough yeah crypto <laughs> cryptocurrency there's something behind cryptocurrency falling cryptocurrency is it, it's a very shady currency i'm not saying that people you know i know a lot of people invest in it and stuff but is it is it russia russia yeah okay. And there, so I, I, it may be that behind the scenes, crypto is being crashed because it weakens Putin. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, think of how, how all that money's laundered. It's through crypto. Okay. Q, Q is through crypto. The dark web is supported through crypto. Oh, it's really dropped. Yeah. It's dropped yeah. huge amounts. Elon Musk, is he going to be able to buy Twitter now? Oh, so. that's right. Yeah. He's the I king of crypto, that. right? Someone called me a, a while ago and said, now's the time to invest in crypto, I think. Is it crypto or maybe it was something else? Anyway, I don't go for any of that stuff. I, I don't either. And uh, I, somebody asked me months ago about getting out of crypto, and I said I saw it. Yeah. So in terms of the recession, uh, we're going to be okay. We're going to, it's like, if I'm going to use the ship analogy, we're on a kind of choppy seas right now. But right. But I almost feel like I've been feeling this fall, a lot of good news. Oh, oh yeah, Biden, yeah. remember our, my guy, Andre? 
Yeah, he yeah. said Biden was really going to take off come the fall. And oh, my again, dad showed me that too. My guy, and, I can, and it I, could yeah. be because he's managed to keep us, get us out of, and things start picking up. Might even be that Putin goes, and finally we got some release with the, you know, because I'm a tribe, a tribal member, and there's a lot of people who bought oil rights, mineral rights, and they're not drilling. They just need to start drilling. And a lot of people are buying electric now too. So my guides agree with Andre too. September is going to be an amazing month. I have asked my guides worrying about the poor press coverage that they've been giving Biden since the beginning. Oh, of the they talk about yeah. him like trash. They say it will turn around. They promised me that. I'm telling you, I've always felt that he saves the day. Like and Mighty Mouse, here I will, come to save they the will, day. Yeah, yeah, they will start singing his praises. Okay. Yeah, I, I interrupt you, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, he, I think, I think, you know, I, I definitely see recovery and I see things getting a lot stronger. Yeah, so hang on there. Uh, hang, 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 in there hang, on, hang on, don't uh, uh, worry too much because things are going to righten themselves up exactly. regarding the economy. It's going to exactly. be okay. We're going through, like you said, a period of readjustment. In fact, my daughter said, Ma, when's things going to turn around? Because she has some stock. And I said, September, September. I kept going September. It's going to be great. We're going to be just sighing a uh, huge size of relief but it's not going to be massive where people make tons of money it's going to be more conservative yes i'm not seeing like whoa i made one hundred and eighty thousand dollars last night i'm not seeing that it's adjusting i'm telling you it's a false thing that's going on now and it's adjusting yeah and we just have to Wait it out and it's oh, and then Trump better. wants to say, What about this economy and baby formula? And what about what would you do to change it? He well, he doesn't have any ideas. Well, he's the reason his policies are the reason why there was a shortage. Well, he charging tax on the, the baby formula, yeah. And by the way, we took it to Congress and we said, Let's do an emergency. No, Republicans said no. Let's do, um, let's get the oil companies for the CEOs not to make so much freaking money no <laughs> yeah well they, again it's like a game to them so they're just going to block all the attempts of the so i'm not seeing a horrible recession i'm not either i'm not either i'm not seeing it so lisa that's our answer we're not seeing i i mean we could be wrong but i'm i've been telling people for a while it's going to adjust but it's not going to be armageddon yeah, absolutely. And so the, listen, this, oh. here's a good question. This face girl wrote, and I'm sure you're going to feel the same thing I said, I felt. My husband had a very frequent dream of getting off, off a landing craft and wearing an army uniform onto a beach and getting shot in the forehead. He was born in 1945. Was this a past life dream? Yes. Yeah, I, I heard. As soon as I read it, I wanted to say, yep. It's a past life dream. Yes. I mean, it's constant. It's not just one time that he's in a uniform, he's getting off the craft and he gets shot in the head. Exactly. Yeah. Probably the beaches of Normandy. Yeah. Now, this is a good from 1290LI. When do you see the far right hate and white supremacy groups fade into the fringes? Oh. <laughs> um. Well, they probably will, I don't want to say always be here. I have to have faith in the evolution of humankind at some point for them to disappear, but they won't be as dominant uh, as, uh, they won't be proliferating anymore after Putin. We have to consider Putin, Bannon, uh, the people, Flynn, the, the people who are engendering fascism whilst calling uh people nazis like <laughs> looking at antifa just this very small disparate group of uh, people uh, who are protesting against fascism and uh they uh they are engendering it in social media they are using stochastic terrorism which i i discussed on my channel do you know what that is no so stochastic terrorism is using social media and you know cultural 
uh, purviews or venues to create an environment where potentially a violent act will incur, uh, occur. So you have like Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, who's very good at doing that, who, who wreaks fear and uh, gets people to hate a certain group, to demonize a certain group and feel that guns would be the answer to that. Uh, you have the dark web um, that allows these groups like 4chan to uh, target vulnerable populations like the um, it's called oh it, it's focused on autistic young men who have vulnerabilities who do a lot of gaming who are often isolated and alone on their computers and then they are actually befriended by, by these people and, and they made to feel important and that they like that yeah and they, they encourage the uh, kinds of uh, rampages like at uh, uh, you know, in Uvalde, Uvalde and uh, what was the one earlier in Buffalo? Buffalo, yeah. So they're you, and they've been using social media and these kind of dark channels for quite a long time. Uh, Putin has, and uh, the people like Bannon. So they're creating these like landmines, and I I believe some of them are random, but I think some of them are actually planned. Like like you plan to. Uh, set them off at various various times they lay dormant and then pop 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 and you get just all of these events happening in a cluster this time it happened just after the subpoenas were announced for the republican congressman you had that announcement and that was a big deal and all of a sudden look over there now we're gonna have uh you know these these tragedies and we're just going to be focused on that and we have to take control of the social media and, and the kinds of organizational infrastructure that for some reason we haven't been able to target or touch or in Trump's administration has actually been encouraged and expanded. That's not coming out of nowhere. It's not that an individual will or will not have those inclinations or have right. those uh, aberrations or problems, but they're taken, people are taken advantage of from both the like far left and the far right to engender these feelings uh, of uh, anger and fear and uh, the ideas of, of using uh, guns and bombs to, right, right. Uh, it, like they have to, like this is, what is the phrase the Republicans love to use? Uh, we won't have an America left. If yeah. this happens, you know, we our freedoms are gone. And uh, when they interviewed, I've seen interviews of like the insurrectionists, like, why did you come here? Uh, why did you do this? Our president asked us to, because if we don't do this, then we won't have an America left. This, oh uh, this was a rigged election. We won't have democracy left. They really believe that because they are being brainwashed. We're, how? What needs to happen? And I'm sure it's happening, but it needs to happen more in in well, it's like they're talking early you win because huh? none of it's true no none you of know it's i true. was in yeah. i was in um trader joe's today and in the produce department and a man a big tall guy old man looked at this girl working there he she said you don't want to know why the gas prices are so high so it's my my phone i'm going to turn it off <laughs> okay uh, you want to know why the gas prices are so high yeah. biden's in the pockets of all these big wigs in the oil business which is of course a <laughs> absolute why you don't when it's know the how hard it was for me not <laughs> to say hey old man quit lying that is not true but it's the Republicans that are, are interfering with legislation to stop the oil companies from profiting in a major way. They're, 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 it's the Republicans that are allowing this, but that is the tool of projection, demonization via projection. What I'm doing, I'm going to project onto another person. Exactly. And then they, you know, they're not, I'm going to gaslight everybody. So, so what I'm trying to say is, we have to work on how we're culturalized for these groups to fade away to, to because they are being fueled intentionally uh, to create civil unrest and division in our country. So our country is attacking itself. And this is not just in America. They're doing it in France. They were respond that 
Putin and Bannon were responsible for a Brexit, that was a way to break off England from the Western uh, uh, allies. Right. And and that's what, what has to happen. It's just not going to magically fade away, I don't think. I think what we're re really going to be looking at is like cleaning it up, cleaning up our uh, social media and also strengthening our, his, uh, you know, collective awareness of history, not revising history. And then, you know, these, these crazies, they're, you know, you can't, the teacher can't teach children from a certain book, but she can carry a gun. That's crazy. I wouldn't, you know, people are people like any random person can go nuts and like, it, it's like this assumption, it is this assumption that there are certain people that for whatever reason are going to be safe with a gun. Oh my God. That's not, that's not a given on a bad day. You know, anybody can go crazy with a gun just because you have, even if you have a license. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I give, I love the, um, not love. I just think it's just the, the audacity and the ridiculousness. It's of, crazy. Like that old man saying, oh, you know why? It's because of Biden. You didn't vote. You'll regret voting for Biden. You don't know how hard it was for me to keep it. <laughs> oh, okay. you must have just kind of gritted your teeth. I wanted to say, hey, old man, wake up and smell a coffee. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I, I not love. That's not the right word, but it just the, it's hysterical. The... the, uh, the Ted Cruz, when he said, uh, we should just have one door in a school. Oh, God, it is crazy. It might as well be comedians. Like, how would that even work? One Here's a good a question. Door? Okay. From Catherine Mushaw. Will Josh, is it Shapiro or Shupo? It's She spelled it S-H-I-R-P-O. Sherpa. I don't know. Shapo? I bet you it's Shapiro. And Fetterman both win in Pennsylvania. Seriously concerned about Fetterman's health. I'm gonna look at Fetterman real quick. Okay. Fetterman. I felt like he's gonna be strong. Listen, my dad had quadruple bypass and I don't know what all. And it, it when he died at age 80, he didn't die because of his heart. He died with failure to thrive. He was a paraplegic and he had a decubit eye. Oh wow. And it wouldn't heal because he was, you know, getting too old. Tell me about, Fet you don't know who Josh is then? Shippo? Maybe it's Shapiro. I don't know. Ooh, I'm going to tell you, Fet I, I got this hit before. May I tell everybody, I definitely <laughs> see Fetterman winning. Oh, I Even see Fetterman winning too. Yeah. His wife is very strong. He's got the wheel. He'll take the wheel. He's got the karmic star. He's got a. He's got a lot more years to live. So don't worry about him. Yeah, I see Fetterman being very strong too. And he'll beat Oz. He'll beat Oz. Oz really just there's just too much there with uh, not living in that state and still voting in Turkey after he told everybody he's not. What are you getting? Oh, I'm I'm just looking up um Shippo, Gosh. who that I, I I thought that Fetterman would win. I uh, I felt you know, this I, I'll ask the guides again, but I've asked, I asked earlier today actually. Um, oh, I'm not getting it. Let's see. Um, it doesn't even matter. Why should we care? Because Fetterman's going to win. Fetterman's <laughs> going to win. I don't know yeah. what Josh Shapiro's running for. I think it might be Senate. Well, why? Who is that? Is she, is that a Democrat or a Republican? Yeah, it's a Democrat. It's a Democrat. Uh, oh, okay. I thought he was running. Is he somebody? I'll else just take a quick look. See it, Josh Shapiro. Yeah. Before November, I'm going to sit down with my list and start telling everybody my picks. I'm ninety percent correct on my picks. Will Josh win? I think it's going to be a strong Democratic uh, ticket. So, so if uh, Fetterman wins, I think Josh Shapiro will win too. Let me look. Oh, he's got the karmic star too. Yeah, I think Philadelphia is not going to be all too many Trumpsters. Look, look at this. Oh, beautiful. I love beautiful this Beautiful celebration. By the way. Everybody will be happy. What cards are they? I think I heard you say before, but I don't remember. Like your tarot, they're beautiful. Oh, thank you. What are they called? Hold on. 
Um, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. Is it like the trip? Something the trip? It's part? trip, but it's something like I don't remember. It's because of the back of the card. It's, oh, I I love those cards. <laughs> yeah, They're, but they give you two suns and two. They give you too many. They give you overkill. Yeah. <laughs> um. So. Oh, Steph said Senator Warnick has a presidential vibe for me. Thoughts. He preaches in MLK's pulpit and was born the year after MLK died. Looking forward to our bright, shining vibe. He's a good man, Senator Warren. Oh, oh, I love him. Oh, uh, yeah. He's running against Herschel Walker. Oh, Herschel Walker. Oh, my God. Who developed <laughs> he, polio vaccine, by the way. And he's just said recently he, he is FBI. He works for the FBI. And the police. And the police. Yes. And they. I hope they do a debate. Because he's just out to love. They really love him, though. Georgia really loves Herschel Walker because of football, but he's not. He, he just isn't win. a. And My why Trump no. wants him? I don't know. Yeah, My guys, he, yeah you got to read on that. My guys say no. He's not going to win. Herschel Walker? He's not going to win. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So Senator Warnick will win. Yeah, that's what I get. And I also feel very strongly that. Um, that our guy in Arizona is going to win. The one whose wife was shot. Ossoff? No, the one who. No, wife he's not running yet. He, he'll... Ossoff is running in Georgia too. Yeah. Is, uh, he's not running for 2022, is he? Yeah, he is. No. He is? No. Wait. Yeah, cause... I think he is running. Oh, okay. But I think uh, Kelly, Mark Kelly is going to win. Oh, yeah, Marsha Green. She's saying, I live in the red state of Oklahoma. Governor Kevin Stitt has been trying to overrule the Indian tribes that own most casinos to tax them and make money. Will he keep trying to do under underhand techniques, tactics to get what he wants? The tribes have been well, well winning and they help with the building roads and bridges in this state. Yeah, well, the thing is the tribes are federal. He's state. He can't touch a federal. He may try, but they can go to the higher realm and, and get it overturned. We are sovereign. My Comanche tribe in Lawton is sovereign. You know, even my tribe, I had an attorney because um, the lands that my mom had, uh, we had to get things in order to transfer it in a deed. And after she died, and this attorney told me he had a, a native Comanche man who was sick and knew he was dying. And he, um, he was more Comanche by blood than me. And he had a PhD and all, it just extremely well, uh, well read. And he said that they literally, the tribe literally said he had a will. They said, no, he can't have a will. He can't, he can't decide what the native lands that he's inherited where they go and wow. this guy said i'll take you to the supreme court yes he can and he got i guess everything was distributed the way he wanted they're very and i understand why the tribe does this you know in the old days session when my grandmother was young these people would come in and marry these women and then they would inherit a portion of the lands oh wow like my dad, when mom died, he got a portion of my mom's native lands, but he could never sell it. He had the oil rights or whatever, but he could never sell it. And then when he died, it went to us. Oh, so you have the rights. Yeah, but you you can't you can't take over native land unless you're a native. So very interesting. <laughs> Linda, you said, you know what happens is uh, the names are said in a way that is hard for me to understand. <laughs> you said, hold on. Linda, you said, somebody's telling me off here. <laughs> uh, oh, no, we don't have to answer that, do we? <laughs> do you? No, no, it's just the presidential vibe. Uh, here's uh, uh, Linda, you said Yovana. She must mean Ivana. Trump would be his downfall. 
She accepted the attorney general's decision. You said Trump would be very upset. He is right on. Then you said he would not go to jail. They are saying he's crazy. You can't put a mentally ill in prison. They put them in sanatoriums. I never thought it would get here, but here we are. See you in a minute with Mel. I quit worrying with you. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Margaret. Uh, you have now listen, everybody accurate. gets mad at me because I've never, but you know, do you see Trump going to jail? I saw, I never saw him going to jail. I saw him dying before he would go to jail. And let me tell you something else. I always saw a big court hearing and people have the satisfaction of knowing guilty. And I almost, it could even be that he plays it out. Like he'll say, well, I'm a president. You can't really put me in jail, but I want to read trial or something. But I think he'll he'll kick the bucket before he gets there. I, I can ask again. Uh, this is something that. Um, and I think Donald Jr. is going to jail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I never saw Ivanka. He needs to, Ivanka. Donald Jr. needs to go to rehab. <laughs> I never saw Ivanka going to jail, but I see Jared Kushner going to jail. Yeah, I never saw Ivanka I going think to it's jail either, do, but I, I saw Jared also. I, I think it's something to do with Saudi Arabia. I think Ooh. we're going to find out he gave secrets. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And sold us and sold Saudi Arabia our um, our COVID gear, right? Right, right. <laughs> so and here's what, another one. Listen to this, Valeria. Okay. What does Roger Stone have on DeSantos that will come out before November? I just got done telling you that Roger Stone said, hey, fat face. Yeah. Why do we have something on you? Something's yeah. gonna, I'm telling you, something's going to happen. What are you feeling, girlfriend? Um, let's see. Oh yeah, yes. Uh, they're they're showing me um, documentation of Ooh, documentation illegal. This has to do with um. It, oh, they're saying some kind of grift, illegal right. money, uh, like. A, money laundering fundraising oh yeah something that is uh is really bad <laughs> uh, he's been stealing from the till like like behind the scenes whoa yeah he's trying and, to get his own police department you know so he can't be but he he is so uh, he's like the little like the little man syndrome yeah you know he's puffs himself up uh, as all good fascists do, uh, he follows in the footsteps of Putin and um, Kim Jong Il and uh, you know Erdogan. Um, God, if God help us, he, I don't. He, I don't ever He's see got something president. major coming up. It's going to blow everybody. Yeah, up it will. It's um, it's big time, and it's it's like solid proof. Yeah, and and he's going down for he's it. He's got justice, and it's about money. Yeah, that's what I, I'm seeing. Yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, they, they uh, why doesn't Stone like DeSantis? Because, oh, DeSantis is, uh, he's so full of himself that he is uh, extremely insulting to Stone and he feels he's better than Stone. And he's like, there's something about a pecking order or a hierarchy. And, you know, Stone said that a comment about DeSantis, the, that uh, slur to put him in his place because yeah. he's getting too big for his britches and they're going to put him down. They're going to like not. Well, <laughs> but his numbers are higher than Trump. Well, the, you know, these polls are like Rasmussen polls. They're not, you don't pay attention to polls is what my guides say. Uh, they're often inflated. They're, they're manipulated. They're not like spontaneous, real polls right they're just i know that we're taking they were those polls were taken at cpac right yeah um and but they're don't trust these republicans with anything with any poll manipulate the numbers and the, nothing's really as it seems they're all like like cryptic messages and uh they don't follow any like morality or any uh ethical rule they not nothing so they will lie and lie and lie and lie. And the polls that we're hearing about uh, Biden are lies. Biden has very high approval rating. 
very high even now. I know. They try to talk like he's a... Oh, I, I'm so... I I canceled my Washington Post subscription. Oh, I did too. And I don't... I Because they said some nasty... Washington. I said, you know what? I don't need you. Yeah. They're, it, they're, that's the thing I, I think I was talking about earlier. What needs to happen is the behind the scenes stuff. They have to... And, and this is via Murdoch, right? Yes. He was Putin's... Uh, um, mouth uh like putin's putin has his chef who's the butcher uh murdoch works for putin their allies and they control the 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 messages we're getting that has to stop we have to have a, a what's it called like to break up the monopoly of yes. the media the only six do you uh, think it'll help with putin's death yes i see that when once he goes, I asked my guys these questions that what well, I said that to ask that to my guys, and, and they showed me that when Putin dies, the old guard might want to take over, but they're not the ones who are going to take over. There's a huge desire to be a, a, like another West, uh, another democracy, another European democracy. Said they so, take over, and I said that too. There may be an old guard, but I see them being overrun. Yes, and then the troll farms, a lot of unemployment in the troll farm business. They have massive, they have like huge whole buildings, whole high rises of troll farms that are trying to, and often very successful, uh, uh, create a perception, a reality right. that is trying to sway us in a certain direction. So much of that is false. Uh, so that has to change. We have to start getting accurate information regarding what's happening in the world not skewed one way or the other right but to deliver information so we can make up our own minds that's what's got to happen that's a huge part of saving our democracy and i do believe that's going to happen that has to happen on many levels and maybe with maybe with murdoch oh murdoch do you think murdoch's uh long for this world he's oh 90. yeah he's going soon you know he came to the united states and reagan made him a citizen like that yeah it's so, so he's funny, a I'm part sure. of it it's got to it's got to be Putin uh, uh, losing power, losing life or whatever, uh, you know, because he has that terminal cancer, allegedly, but everybody's saying that he does. And uh, then Murdoch, yeah. once Murdoch goes, will his uh, children continue in his direction or are they not going ter to terrible like that? No. So the, so there's certain and then the other one is the uh, Charles. Is it Charles Koch? Oh, the, the remaining the brother. brother yeah, stuff. then he, yeah. he he's going to go too at some point because he's about the same age. Yeah. When yeah. those guys go, I don't know how many people are going to really take over who are got, willing to fund, uh, you know, the Bannons and the Flynns of the world. Yeah. The way that they have been. So that's what we we're going to watch for when Yay. they make their transitions. There we go. To the other world. Yeah. Now listen, good. someone good. wants to know and tell me if you got a hit. I don't get a hit and I could try to look. Any idea it, why the hearing was postponed for tomorrow? I I don't think. Well, okay. I, I didn't really ask my guides about this. So I will. Let me look and you look. Okay. You, you look and I'll, I will. Why was the hearing postponed? I kind of got this feeling like something else has come up. It's not because yeah. it's bad news. It's because it's good news. Yeah, another uh, somebody talking, somebody giving information. Some, some other information and they need to add it to the list. So they said, we've got to sort this out. In order to do it, they didn't have enough time for tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I think. I'm so excited. What did you get? <laughs> I, I asked my guides, same thing. Same thing? Yeah. I'll just double check. They put it on hold because new information. New information, yep. New, oh, we're going to be delighted. Look at this. Everybody's happy. Two yeah. cups in the sun. Uh, the magician. And this has to do with the invasion. Yeah. Oh, oh it's let, got to do with the invasion. Let me see, though, your cards, though. This let is the see. crossroads. Like, it's going to bring another direction. Ooh, Woo, yeah. celebrate good times. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, I love it, girlfriend. We've been, it's so funny. We've been predicting this for so long. We've been seeing it for so long and now it's happening. Who was it that someone told me? Oh, Sue Lynn. Sue Lynn said, you know, when Linda G first said, they're gonna find out that Trump was in Putin's pocket. 
And that's how he won as president. And um, when she first said that, I thought, eh, you know, she said, now I think it could really happen. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I just don't think, I'm certain of it. I am certain and, of it. And, and even when he's gone, he could be gone because this is all unraveling now but if oh, yeah. we found beyond a reasonable doubt that he had the help of a foreign and which is totally illegal right. for a president to yeah. accept campaign funds from a foreign and basically they kind of cut him out of the history books well he's going to be in the history books but not as a, not like, for what he's, he's i mean we can more like forget, hitler we can never forget trump uh, uh, what trump has tried to do who trump is the whole Trump story, we can never forget it because he is like, uh, I don't want, I, I mean, I think of Putin as Hitler, but Trump is equally evil in his own way. And has- yeah, Putin is like, he asked for a girl to come on her birthday. She was a, a jerk, a, a revealing light talked about this. It was a friend who knew this girl who was a journalist in Russia and he asked to see her on her birthday. So she went in on his birthday and she went in and he shot her dead right there. He shot her? He shot her. So he's, a, he's just plain ugly evil. Oh yeah. And you know, he's being eaten from the inside because that blackness is eating him. Alive. Yes, yes, exactly. And everything is, there, there must've been some major spells on him too because you know, like everything is co coming back to him. Everything he's given out is coming back on him yeah uh, and there's nothing he can't make anything work yeah uh, uh, and oh i want to ask i want to ask that uh follow that question about trump because it wasn't so much being cut out of the history books i think what you were saying or i've heard you say this before is that his presidency will be decertified yes that, that's what you were saying he I mean, we're always we have to remember trump we have to this has to go down in the history books just like uh, we know about Booth or you know the, the assassination of Lincoln, that can't that has to we have to know about that. We have to know about the Civil War. We have to know about all of that. We can be so close to losing our republic. Oh, so and close. thank God for the Republicans, mind you, the people testifying are Republicans. Yeah, thank God that they told when Trump was talking about making that guy AG, and they said all of us will quit. Yeah. All of us will quit. And then the yeah. guy said to Trump, think about it. If all your DOJ walks out, what does that make you look like? Then he decided not to do it. And the other thing is that guy today, that attorney who told Eastman, let me give you some, first of all, I only want to hear two words out of you. Because the he, Eastman brought up about pants, blah, blah, blah. He said, are you effing crazy? He said, I only want to hear two words out of you. Yes, you had said that, yeah. Uh, peaceful transition. And then he said, I'm gonna give you the best legal advice you've ever gotten. Get a good criminal attorney, because you're gonna need it. And I'm gonna tell you, this was a Republican. Yes, so what my guys are saying, and you can check, is that my guys are saying, even though I'm arguing with them as they're saying it, just so you know. What? Uh, that he will be found to be illegitimate and he will be considered a Manchurian candidate, somebody who is not democratically elected by a majority. And oh, there wow. are, are many more, um, how can I say this? Uh, illegalities, inconsistencies, subterfuge that went on for the 2016 election than we're aware of. And it's, I, I hear different narratives, people saying like, it was the, the Democrats, that uh, felt like they they didn't like one candidate over the other, or, or they 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 you know bought into the which was part of it I guess the you know yeah. the Hillary Clinton emails that came up of, <laughs> but what I saw and I remember seeing this during the 2016 election and asking my guys about it when it was happening, oh, and, and of course Jill Stein came in like and she's Putin's like friend that yeah. there are pictures of them sitting next to each other to take to siphon some of the votes away, but there were Russians on the ground. Oh yeah. Uh, and they, they, there were uh, 70,000 votes or something that went missing in Detroit. 
and he and they won Michigan by uh, Republicans won Michigan by ten thousand. So in each of these swing states, there were boots on the ground Russians and Russian operatives and uh, you know uh, American uh, Russia uh, people ru working for Russia that actually did interfere with our elections. Created, yes, and and created um, uh, conditions where the votes were, you know, there were false votes, etc. So that really did happen. And let me tell you, yeah. we have be written in the record, reality winner saved all of us. Yes, she She's did. She's the one White that heroes. released that Russia was helping with this election. Of course, Trump and the gang threw her in jail. Yeah. But thanks to her and what she said, all the people that dealt with the votes, they shored it up. So they couldn't cheat as badly for the next election. In fact, that guy, in 2020 told the president this is probably the most secure election we've ever had and they fired him they yeah fired him. and the the other thing my guys are reminding me about is there were boots on the ground russians who took part in the insurrection also on january oh 6th my god yep and it was uh putin was watching it you, we, we know that trump was watching it i i saw it then too I did. I, re I remember a video that I did during that time period and inside job, <laughs> but they showed me Trump just watching it on, you know, television and 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 being elated. But Putin was also watching it, and and it was being controlled by people like General Flynn. We forget that Mike Flynn is a general. <laughs> he was uh, one of the people overseeing this in invasion. It was so much more um, meta than we. Think it was it wasn't just uh oh, even well, trump it was actually when it was i never psychically picked up that kind of trouble and normally i do yeah when it started happening i'm like what is this i never like i felt the 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 pandemic before it happened i'll feel things before it happens the main thing is my guys kept saying Biden is going to win. He's going to win don't worry he's going to win they'll be dancing in the streets so that prediction came true but Violetta kept saying, oh, I feel cheating. Well, what she was feeling was that they were going to try to cheat it and take away our democracy. And they were this close. I had, yes. no, I had no idea. <laughs> uh, I, I know that when I did a reading just before that, the six, and my guides wanted to specifically say to, to uh, people, they said, don't worry. Biden is going to be president. It yes. is going, but it will. And they said, just watch it. Uh, it'll be wild. <laughs> That's what they well, said. I, then, uh, people yeah. were writing to me, you know, he's fighting this, he's doing this. And all I, they kept saying is, don't worry, he will be president. Yeah. I, and I, I felt so many angels in the Capitol. I felt angels surrounding oh God, Pelosi and surrounding Biden and every, uh, and, and, and Harris and Kamala, uh, it was, it was amazing. This light that was there and they, they were, they, every, all the timing and the divine timing of uh, that insurrection and everybody just in the nick of time, right? And, and then they weren't, out helping, here, him. They out weren't helping with this new administration. They were fighting him tooth and nail. Yeah. And then Biden had to worry about who was in the, in the administration, who was uh, Trump's uh person secret, yeah who was in the secret service that's the same with Mar in the secret garland service. garland had to filter out the trumpsters because yes. you know there was washington uh, pol uh police washington dc police that were part of the insurrection oh i didn't read i didn't know yeah oh yeah i did know that i i yeah. I, I take it back i take it back I, going back yeah I, I did remember seeing that yeah it was everything was seated everything was so planned but it was it was such a crazy idea that, and I think that because Putin ha, has no idea about America, no. he he really looks at us and 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 judges us by our lowest common denominator. He he so he has such low expectations of human nature anyway. He just didn't understand this country. He didn't understand what we're really made of. Okay. So he thought, you know, no problem. Just yeah. like he uh, underestimated Ukraine, I w I can go into Ukraine in forty eight hours, and I'm going to be in Kiev. He that was part of 
the problem with how why it was such a, a messed up plan and then trusting people like Bannon and Stone these people are crazy they are megalomaniacs they're, they're just they're, they're not uh, 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 that smart no so what, what are you doing that that I, I I've, I've said it myself I think and I've heard it uh, from other people that like, thank God <laughs> they chose stupid people to be I involved know. in this because if they were smarter, they could have gotten away well, with Trump it. Is possibly, stupid. I don't Trump know. Is really, he's he's really stupid. <laughs> oh my God, he's so. Stupid. And it's all about him. It's unfortunate. Yeah. So it just it was miscalculated, but the audacity of it, the fact that it it ha it happened at all. And that we're still trying to Oh, and it. listen, he interrupted a rehearsal dinner yesterday at his hotel, and they said all he talked about was how much he hated Barr. <laughs> like these poor people who are trying to have a nice little wedding coming up, and all he <laughs> talked about was Barr. I would love to be a fly on the wall with that. That's hysterical. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Hopefully, I get to see some footage of that. Uh, they're, well, they're ridiculous. My girlfriend, we've been on over an hour. Oh my gosh. Can you believe I try to keep it no later than an hour because people get like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh can I just give my information real quick? Sure, yes. And I'm going to put your information too on the bottom. Go ahead. Okay, Melissa Free Range Psychic. You you can find me on YouTube. Uh I do a show every Sunday. Uh you can contact me through my email Sacred Fire psychic readings at gmail.com or text me at 734-773-9758. And I'm also on Twitter and I have a Facebook page called Sacred Fire Psychic Readings. Awesome. And I'll post it below. You, I like that new setup with YouTube. They let you go to reuse the things that you had with someone else before. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, so <laughs> I like all your stuff is on there, yeah. That's well, wonderful. You guys, Thank you. Thank you so much. And and we'll do this again because it's always so much fun. Oh, I oh love so that. funny. We start off like, well, what do you think? What are we going to talk about? <laughs> oh, I don't know. And then as soon as this thing comes up, we're like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I know. It's fantastic. I, I love it. Thank you so much for inviting me on your show, Linda. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Thank you. And let me know when you want me to be on yours. Oh, OK. You're Absolutely. next. OK. We'll OK. Do we'll do my Bye, show. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.